What's up guys, this is Crypto with James talking to you today about Stargate Finance. Now, Stargate Finance has a ton going for this. Um, there's a ton of different ways you can earn money using Stargate. And while I don't necessarily think the price is going to go insane, um, it definitely has potential to do that. Um, and the earnings that you can make from Stargate are pretty significant too. So this is one you're going to want to pay attention to, guys. Um, before I get into that, though, guys, these are the first uh, 26 coins that I did videos about on this channel. And in the videos, I was showing people that I'm buying these cryptos up because I thought they were, you know, guaranteed winners. Now, if you, you can see what the prices were of all these coins, by the way, when I recorded and released the vids, you can see what highs they hit less than 18 months on work. And you can see what the profit would have been off of $100 into each. So $100 into each one, you can see the profit. So that would be $2,600 investment in total. The net profit would have been 123 grand. Pretty good. Now, I sold these less than 18 months on. These are not the coins I hold. But if you do want to know what coins I hold and copy along, you can do. If you head over to copymycrypto.com, that's a membership site I run where I share with all the members the coins that I own. So anytime I buy a crypto, I tell the members what the crypto is, the gains I think it can have, the percentage of my money I'm putting in as well. So they can see the portfolio breakdown in percent terms every day. Um, when I sell a coin, by the way, when I bank my profits, I let the members know as well. That's the biggest mistake that investors make in cryptos in period is that they don't know when to sell coins. Now, I try and make sure that the members make that mistake because they see what I'm doing every time. Now, guys, look, we've probably got one, maybe two more bull cycles, like proper golden age type bull cycles where we're gonna see the gains that we've seen previously. After that, Regulation is going to be in so hard, it's going to flatten the markets and we'll have something akin to the stock market. So really last chance saloon in terms of making the gains. And we've probably got 18 months now before the next bull cycle is in full flow and the gains are there. So if you didn't make 20x profits or 30x profits in the last bull cycle we did on Copy My Crypto, goes to the site and you can see what the members achieved. You can see all the things I've said historically as well, and it's all public record. And you can make a decision if this is something that sounds good to you, if you just want to copy along. Now, Stargate Finance. <clears throat> so market cap apparently is 130 million. Circulating supply is 204 million coins. Now, it's very much worth noting that... Um, I don't think the circulating supply right now is accurate. Now, Stargate Finance is about being an omni-chain. That's how they talk about themselves, an omni-chain. Um, what the hell? Have they had their, I don't know, they might have had their Twitter closed down. Uh, or they might not just have one. Um, so, Stargate Finance is an omni-chain crypto. What this means is they are on almost every blockchain. And actually, we can see the sheer volume of them. Optimism, Ethereum, Arbitrum, Phantom, Polygon, Avalanche. You can't... Uh, BNB as well. And then it's Yield Farming and DeFi. Now, <clears throat> Optimism has, in total value lock terms, $413 million right now, which is huge. When, especially when you look at the market cap being 130 mil. Um, now, one thing to note about Stargate Finance, it launched at a terrible time. It launched in a bear cycle uh, when the markets were already flat, ran up to four bucks. So it's not even experienced a bull cycle. Now, Stargate, with this, you can enjoy all the different opportunities of DeFi on any chain you want. Uh, they have farms, they have staking, they have liquidity pools, and they have just straight up transfers, right? So if you wanted to do a transfer, you choose the network you want to move your token from and to. It's a bridge, guys. It's a bridge. It's a fancy word for bridge transfer. Um, you can see what the pools are like. <clears throat> so say it was you wanted to add liquidity to the USDT Ethereum pool. 
you know, say you wanted to add a thousand um, tether. You could connect your wallet, you'll see what the pool of tokens are, you'll see what in fact you would get in terms of yield from doing that, but obviously it's connecting your wallet. With farming as well, they've got the breakdowns for the top farms. So Frax, your Frax earnings on Avalanche would be 9.58%, that's not bad. Uh, USDT can have 5.42% by Metis. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, within USDT on Ethereum, you could have 4.71%. Um, and you can break these down by APY, as I said. You can see what the top ones are, but it's basically, you know, Frax. Frax is by far and away the clear within it. Though. Um, then in terms of staking, you can see total amount of staked, uh, Stargate tokens is 37.7 million, which is about 18.45% of the supply. So let's get a calculator up and we can see what that is. So we've got, what is it, 37.70106.56. And that is 18.45% of the supply. So we'll divide by 0.1845. So yeah, so 204 million as of right now. So that's pretty accurate, actually. Um, okay, so that's good to know. So actually, interestingly, they are accurate. Um, and then in terms of overview, you can see what the total value locked is right now. So that is 398 million, which is again, pretty damn good when you realize that the, the actual market cap of this crypto is 130 million. So nearly th over three times the amount is total value locked. The volume, 19 million a day. That's pretty good. Um, again, for a decentralized finance um, sort of protocol, this is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, and you can see all the transfers that are occurring on the chain between BNB and Avalanche or Arbitrum and BNB or Optimism and Polygon. You know, you can see that the bridge is very actively used. Um, so this is a very, very used protocol. This is a good sign. Now, a slight concern for me, and the reason that I'm being a little bit uh, bearish, I guess, on in terms of the uh, outlook, in terms of the price prediction, because uh, I think this will probably run up to about three bucks. I don't think necessarily it's gonna be a $10, $20 coin, but the reason being is the supply schedule. Now, maybe they've altered the supply schedule, but as of right now, we are looking at we are in May, past May. So past May, we should be knocking a, a, around about sort of 600 million tokens or so. Now, it's possible that that's because the community release has slowed down because if we're just around here, that's about right. So maybe, it's po maybe it is down to the fact that the community release has been a lot slower, but at some point, the community have to, that 30% has to start, you know, rocketing out. And then all of a sudden, there's a lot more tokens on the market. So all of a sudden we're looking at, say, 700 million tokens, as opposed to the 200, uh, 200 odd million that we've got right now. So then it does alter price. Could it hit $10? Of course, feasibly, it absolutely can. That would be a $7 billion market cap. That's not outlandish by any stretch of the imagination. But having not gone through a bull cycle at all, having not gone through that 2021 phase, I'm a little hesitant to, to suggest that this is going to rocket to new all-time highs. It isn't that, to be fair, it only needs to do what? From where it is right now? 7x and it's broken its high. So it's very achievable. And if it does break that, does do the 7x, then it's already broken the all-time high, then it's in price discovery mode, it could rock it. could absolutely rock it. But I'm hesitant right now just because the, the, the data doesn't match up. And I've never liked that. And I've not seen discussions of burns or anything. Um, so I'm unsure why the, to why the circulating supply is not where it should be based on their tokenomics, which is why I'm 
limiting my price prediction. Now, yeah, that, that, that's really what it boils down to. But Stargate Finance is definitely being used a lot. It's definitely got huge potential because it's on every blockchain or most of the blockchains. Um, so anyone that wants to use it can use it. You know, if you're someone that avoids Ethereum, feel free because they've got all the alternatives on Stargate. Um, so yeah, this is one that, that intrigues me. I think uh, right now three bucks is just a head, like a cons very conservative prediction uh, because again, it's not my thrill cycle and the, the, the supplies don't match up. Their, their current circulating supply does not match their token economics. So something's got to give there. I'm just wondering what that is. Uh, so I might have to do a deeper dive to find out why the community release has slowed down. Um, but yeah, but yeah, this is this is a top coin that's definitely got the potential to break a billion dollars with relative ease. Um, yeah, it's kind of that simple, guys. But what do you think? Do you and <clears throat> does it does it interest you when they're multi-chain? If you're someone that uses literally one chain all the time. The fact that it's multi-chain, does that make any difference to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and guys, if you're a return viewer that's never subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Because where are you going to get this information about the token economics? Where are you going to get this information about why a coin might not do the gains you think it's going to do? Um, and also, look, these videos are going to make you money. So don't miss them. Hit the subscribe button if you want. Um, guys, look, if you want to copy along my investments and make the same profits I do, head over to copymycrypto.com. That's the site where I share with every member every coin I own. Anytime I buy a crypto, I tell the members what the crypto is, where they can get it, why I think it's going to have gains, the gains I think it's going to have, the percentage of my money I'm putting in as well. Everything's completely transparent so that it's as simple as hell to copy along. When I sell a coin, I let the members know, guys, I'm selling this coin at this percentage as well. Remember, the single biggest mistake everyone makes in crypto is not selling their crypto enough and banking profits. I don't make that mistake and I don't let my members make that mistake. And if they copy along, they don't. If you didn't make 20x or 30x gains in the last bull cycle, we had coins that 40x, 50x, 100x, Phantom did nearly 700x. You've probably got one more golden bull cycle before these markets start getting crazy regulated and the gains start disappearing. So now's the time to check out things that can give you a better option and better results. So if you want to see what the better results can be, go to copymycrypto.com, see what the members achieved in the last bull cycle, see what I've said. Everything on there is verifiable and you can check it all out for yourselves and confirm it all yourselves. And anyway, guys, that's it from me. Have a good day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.